to my channel my name is Athena and this is Fat Life Unfiltered um so today is day 24 of the emotional eating video diary and I believe it is what would it mean if I were good enough I'm not exactly sure what that would actually mean what does it mean to be good enough if I were good enough means that I would finally live up to somebody's expectations and for me I'm starting to realize that, you know what, there is no living up to anybody's expectations. The only expectation you should be living up to is the one that you set for yourself. So if today I finally could feel like I made it, I was good enough, what is it that I think would have changed or would have enhanced my life? Unfortunately, nothing. Even the expectations of somebody else and what it is that I think I should be living up to will never enhance my life. There is no good enough if you can't feel good about yourself, the decisions that you make, and where you are leading your own life. That is what you guys get for today. <laughs> um, on another note, we are going to do weigh-in. It's time to answer to the scale. Um, the last time I weighed in was on the 17th, and I was at 312.8. Today, I was at 312.2, so I only went down 0.6 pounds. <laughs> that was maybe almost the loss of, what, a half a pound or just a little over a half pound? So not even a pound. Um, am I disappointed? No, I'm not. When I talked to my lab... What, um, a few videos ago, I talked about kind of having like an emotional, I don't like using the word, but like kind of like an emotional breakdown moment. Um, and I did, and I'm not going to have any excuses for it. I did go off track, and I derailed, and I binged, and I was not proud of that moment, but I did do that. Um, shortly afterwards, I did an egg fast. Um, it did help take down some of the bloat weight, and I do honestly remember looking at the scale, and at one point it was fluctuating between 320-something to 318-something, and then a little after the egg fast, it went down to like 317 to 3, I think it was like 317, and then only like a few days ago, it was at like 315 to 316. I am on day three of intermittent fasting, and the scale within a few days has gone down to 312.2. So I am not disappointed. I don't like, though, that I felt that I needed to revert to such drastic measures because that is another thing that I struggle with. Um, I'm not going to make you watch it, but I have a video of all the crazy diets that I have been through in my life and the fact that I was like, I'm going to do an egg fast. Um, means that I have not yet learned my lesson. I don't like that I did binge and I don't like that I felt, you know what, to correct this, let me go do this. But um, this week I will be continuing on with my intermittent fasting. I am doing the 16 to 8 ratio where it means 8 hours out of the day, so from 10.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Um, that is my eating time. In between that time is when I have my caloric intake. Anytime after that, <laughs> 6.30 mark, up until that 10.30 mark, um, I am not consuming any calories. If caloric intake has kind of drastically changed within the past three days. Today's day three, but I know for, it's still the middle of day three, but I know for a fact for the past two days, um, my caloric intake has just dropped. And it's really weird to me because I thought for sure that trying to not eat until 10.30 considering that for years on the John Cena meal plan, I got into the habit of waking up and within the first 30 minutes of waking up, the first thing I do is eat. And after that, every three to four hours, I was eating something. It might seem like my body was triggering something and going, you need to eat something, you need to eat something. These past few days, I've been able to make it with a little help of the coffee to 10.30. And then while I'm at work, I'm able to make it a few more hours and then have literally a small serving of nuts or a couple hard-boiled eggs. Make it a few more hours till I get home and then have like a small snack or my lunch. And then a couple more hours, have like my main meal. 
and by 5.30, I'm actually, actually about 5.30, almost 6, I'm actually kind of scrambling to make sure I get my last meal in because if not, I'm almost forgetting to eat and that is a good thing. I have not researched it all that much. Um, what I do like though is that right now it does seem to be kind of rewiring my thinking a little bit towards food with how often I need to eat within just a few days. And it could also be changing the mindset too, but that's kind of interesting to me. So this coming week... I'm going to see how my next weigh-in goes. Um, also, too, I will be weighing in on Saturdays. I will no longer be doing it on Thursdays. Um, I will no longer be doing my gluten-free Fridays, only because I will be changing my meal plan, so I will not 100% be gluten-free, but I am still limiting my carb, my fast carb intake. So even though I had rice the other day, I only ate one serving of it. And honestly, that's probably pretty much where I'm going to keep my fast carbs. One serving a day. For the past three days, I have been doing 30 minutes of exercise. And a huge shout out to Mr. Robert Banks. I have been doing 20 jumping jacks, even though I am a little slow at it. <laughs> and I am not graceful. Um, but I have been doing that for you. Kind of sure why <laughs> you suggested that, but I was like, you know, sometimes you just gotta have faith and believe in someone else that has faith and believes in you. So I have actually been doing that, just so you know. Another update will be that next Wednesday, I will be bleaching my hair. <laughs> no, I am not going blonde. I am trying to recreate Rose Dawson from Titanic. So I am kind of hoping we are able to get that going and that it turns out and I don't come out looking like Carrot Top, but I am really trying hard to change my focus and my mindset. And I figured no better way to do that than sometimes than to reinvent yourself. I'm looking for a more positive outlook. Um, I am wanting to change my mindset and finally go forward and stop going back in reverse. And there's no better way to do that sometimes than to totally change your looks. <laughs> and you know, sometimes it gives you a little bit of that sass back. And I've had that hair color before. And you know what? I want to be a spicy redhead. So some of that sass and hopefully a little less ass. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I have going on. That's what I'm working on. And I want to leave you guys with this. I usually have a hard time trying to find or say what it is that I love about myself. And since I'm trying to basically just reprogram how I think about myself, I wanted to let you guys know the word that I chose for myself for today. And that is compassion, that I am compassionate. I love that I am compassionate. And the reason for this is because this is truly a special gift to be able to feel what somebody else is feeling, to be able to be there in their time of need, to be able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and walk away understanding someone else a little bit better. That is a truly special gift to have. I love that I have that. Not everyone does. Something about it is that you love about yourself today and in one word, what would that be? So until next time, please hit that like button. I hope you subscribe. Um, it's going to get better. The series is almost over and I have a different outlook on things and I am literally rebuilding myself. So I hope you're coming along for the journey. Until next time, thanks for watching.